Now, here we are. We're getting closer to achieving stability um, in the lower extremities. Uh, this older patient is using a swash hip orthosis, and we have straps uh, at the ankle to prevent any additional scissor gait. So we're looking at, yeah, we have got more control. We've also stabilized the upper trunk and the forearms. So it's kind of, if you're just looking below the knees, that's where we're really missing a lot of stability. Um, he's still walking on his toes. Uh, those shoes will probably uh, be out of commission in another week or so uh, because he'll have holes in them. Um, again, uh, we have kind of gotten the idea of using a swash hip orthosis to stabilize the lower extremities, but we're still not achieving um, everything that we want in the stability uh, with the, at the foot and ankle. So can we give our kids a higher level of function? That's the next question we need to ask ourselves after seeing all these kids. And if you had the right tool, would you use it? Well, any good therapist is going to say yes to that question because any tool that uh, increases a level of functionality increases what you do with your kids as far as therapy is concerned. And yes, we have the right tool. And this particular device that you're looking at right now is called the TAUS, HKAFO system. And as you can see, these kids, they look really good. And they, in some cases, they really just will take off. And here you can see it being used in a school setting and you'll notice we are stabilizing the lower extremity while allowing the upper extremity to be free. Now this patient here uh, is going to show us how it can be used as a reciprocal gait orthosis. And this is also one of those patients that their feet are going behind them and we don't want to see that. We want to see those feet underneath his body. So at the front of the Taos unit and the back are some cables that attach to the knee and to the ankles and that prevents the feet from going back and it encourages a reciprocal gait pattern. So as you can see we are achieving that here and th this pa particular patient has um, some knee contractures. So that's another challenge we have to overcome. It's uh, not an optimal situation but it can uh, be done with uh, certain patients that do have knee contractures up to a certain uh, angle. Uh, but you can see here uh, this patient is using the reciprocating gait cables uh, that attach the ankle and the knee and only an allow one foot to advance while the other one goes behind. Uh, you can see the cables being used here as well at the knee and at the ankle. And uh, the great thing about a TAUS is it really just it encourages the patient to use it for not just physical therapy, but uh, everyday activities. So the increased stability from the hip down gives the patient the ability to focus on the upper trunk and play with their siblings, as we see here. He's just going after his brother. And it can be used in you know, anywhere that you want, almost. Here we have a patient with the reciprocating gate cables on, and they're in the mall. So, uh, basically, the TAUS is an orthosis, a HKFO orthosis, attached to a mobility base. They can be used separately, and some of our therapists have, uh, to keep the alignment and stability uh, while they're sitting uh, or doing other uh, activities. So this unique combination offers our patient the highest level of stability and function. Uh, the TAUS can also act as a mobile standard. This is another unique uh, application. We actually had one kid who ha just could not stand still in a stander and we Get made one of these for him just as a stander. And he actually wound up, uh, they didn't expect him to learn to have a reciproc reciprocating gait pattern, but he wound up doing that. Okay.
And the best thing about <laughs> this device, there this you system, go. Good. Is when you hear Look at your you patient, go. your I child. Do it all by And that is truly giving your patient a form of independence that they would not be able to achieve otherwise. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation. And if you have any interest, uh, please contact one of our practitioners. And we'd be more than glad to assist you in obtaining one of these devices. Thank you.